Hi, this is Kurt from Kurt's Florida Garden, and I just want to tell you, or a continuation, about how to dog-proof your fence. When I did one a couple years ago, I talked about the perimeter of the fence and the space underneath the fence and the ground. What I'm going to talk about now is the most vulnerable spot, and that's the gate. There's a space between the gate and the ground, and it's one of the most uh, obvious spots for a dog to get loose. So I'm going to show you some of the tools. We'll go over to where I prepared the area. I'm dog proofing the gate and we'll talk about that. Composite decking. You can get this at your home store. I have had one by six regular wood uh, boards used before, but down in Florida with the humidity and the rain, I didn't know how regular wood would fare so well. So I went ahead and got composite decking. You want to measure the spot in between the posts of where the gate sits because there's always concrete that spills out left and right below. So you want to measure that spot, mark it with a sharpie, and this is a regular circular saw, but you have to have the right type of blade to cut composite decking. It's quite dense and it really takes its toll on a blade. And then we'll continue on and I'll show you the gate. Now we're at the gate area that I'm protecting to make it impermeable by the dogs, the underneath part. What I've done is I've used a couple tools. Besides the correct length of composite decking, I have a two by four. I use that to tamp down the ground after I dig the hole to make sure I'm on sound footing. This obviously is a rubber mallet and I use that to tap down the boards to make sure they're well seated. I'm gonna go down and show you this hole. This is just the length of the area you need to protect. So you can see how I've come as far as I can to where the concrete footing is. Then you lay your boards in and I want them as tight as possible. So I really work to make sure there isn't a space. And then I lay them. And the one reason you could probably use a two by six or a four by six if you could find it. But I like the three pieces because if you have a little bit more room farther out, you can make that board a little longer, whatever. It's just a little bit easier to deal with. As you know now, I talked about the rubber mallet. I will use that to make sure everything is well seated. And keep in mind, this gate has to be able to clear this barrier. So don't think, oh, I'll go up higher and it'll be easier. You won't be able to close the gate. So now I have the three boards in there. And what I will do is I always put my extra soil on a tarp so it's easy to clean. And what I'll do is shovel some in and I'll fill in this entire area. And as I get a little bit more on this side, obviously I'll rock those back to where I can get some soil on the far side and make sure that this is level. And then I'll show you the finished product in just a couple of minutes. Now here is a conclusion of the project. As you can see, I've settled all the soil in around the composite deck and you can see that it's tight level, uh, visually level, and ready to go. Now the key trick is, will the gate close? So I'm going to kick the stone out of the way, and as you can see, it closes great. And if you see down there, there's just a minimal space that's necessary for the gate, and the dogs can't get through that. They would have a hard time digging, lifting all those up, and breaking that barrier. Thank you very much for watching Kurt's Florida Garden, 
And please let me know of any comments or any questions you have.